Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. Head on over to nordvpn.com forward slash home tours to find out more. Hi, we're Sunny and Luna, and this is our van, Stella. So we've been living on the road about a year. Why don't you come check her out? Let's do it. As you'll see, we decided to add swivel seats on both of our front chairs, and we're really happy we did that because now it just opens up the space and we actually use both of these chairs as a workspace. So I will actually sit over here and work over here and Sunny will sit over here. And my mom actually made this really cool resin tabletop and so we added a swivel mount to it so it's really easy to get in and out. This is one of our favorite places to lounge, eat, work. So this was definitely a good decision with the swivel table. And then up here, the Ram ProMaster comes with this additional storage space. We just put all of our window shades in there. And then over here, one of Sunny's only requests during the design was to have a little bookshelf. So we added a little bookshelf here and we like to hang our mugs here. And of course our hanging fruit bag, it is a complete must. If you're living in a van, you need somewhere to put your bulky fruit. And um, one of the really cool features about this front area is our shoe step down here. I needed a place to store all my shoes. So I thought, why don't we build a shoe step? That way, when our chairs swivel around, our feet will have somewhere to rest. And it holds a lot of shoes. I can fit five pairs of shoes in here and Sunny can fit five pairs of shoes in here as well. And then the only other thing we like to keep up here in the front cab area is our kettlebell. So we can have it when we go work out. Something else that we added underneath our passenger seat is our Chinese diesel heater. Sunny is a huge fanatic for the snow. So every single winter we will be in this van in the mountains of Colorado. So it was imperative that we added a heater. We also added a shower curtain up here in the front. We like to just be able to close it up if we're running in for a quick errand just to have instant privacy. Put it on these nice sliders. And a really fun thing that we carry with us, it's been with us for over 27,000 miles, is our disco ball. We think having a disco ball is a must to take you through life. We're actually gonna be getting married in a few weeks and we will be hanging about 50 disco balls. So yeah, we love disco balls and the light hits just right. Welcome to our kitchen. So we got a big slab of maple for our countertops and we decided to do an undermount sink. I love our sink faucet because it turns side to side and you can pull it down and it also has a pause on and off button. And um, we have a pretty deep sink, which we felt was really necessary if you do a lot of cooking and you're gonna have a lot of dishes. So highly recommend a deep sink if you're big into cooking. And then we have our curtain right here and of course our little LED moonlight. Up here is where we store all of our food. We like to keep everything in these separate bins so it's really easy to take in or out. And this is our instant water heater. This is an absolute must if you're living on the road. We use it every morning to make tea or coffee. And all of our cabinets have these lights that will turn on when it's dark. So we love that because you will need lights in your cabinets at nighttime. Down here is all of our cabinets and drawers for all of our kitchen stuff. Our top drawer is all of our utensils and of course Sunny's yo-yo because he is a professional yo-yoer. And down in these two drawers, the second drawer, this is where we keep all of our cups, plates, and bowls, as well as our drone, just so we can have it instant if we need to capture a really good shot. And then down here in our third and final drawer is our, what we like to call our everything drawer. So this is what we put all of our dishes in. We have our words for our little word board, massager, projector. And then we turned this into a pop out so we could put our sponges in here. And then down here is where we keep all of our trash and recycling and all of our cleaning products. We have the best slide out trash and recycling bin. Highly recommend something of bigger size. That way you just don't have to worry about finding the trash to dump that often. And we just have a lot of storage down here. This video is brought to you by our sponsor NordVPN. If you're like me, living and working on the road full time, you probably find yourself at coffee shops on public Wi-Fi almost daily. You wanna be sure that your identity and personal information are protected and with NordVPN, you can be confident that they are. NordVPN helps to make sure that your 
personal and sensitive work information is safe and secure whether you're using a laptop, phone, or tablet. You can even use NordVPN to stream shows and movies from your favorite streaming service from just about any country you choose, which means you don't have to worry about missing your favorite show just because you're traveling abroad. NordVPN encrypts all your internet activity so your internet provider can't slow down your streaming speeds. Goodbye buffering. Head on over to nordvpn.com forward slash home tours or click the link below. Enter promo code home tours at checkout to get started. Living Tiny was a dream of Sunny's for five years, and as soon as quarantine hit and his job went remote, he decided to hop on the opportunity, found a van that he was going to buy, and the night before told me, so. <laughs> when I told Luna we were buying the van, she was definitely skeptical, but she stayed up probably an extra four hours every night for the next month, so she got bought in real quick. Yeah, designing the van, just scrolling on Pinterest, getting all the inspiration, and the design process was what I was in charge of, and it consumed all my evenings, but even though I lost a lot of sleep, it was so worth it and so much fun for me. Um, after thinking about it for a few days, days, <laughs> not even like less than 24 hours, we just decided that it would be worth the risk because we've always wanted to travel and it was one of the only opportunities in our life that we'd be able to live this yeah. way that we knew of at least. So it was definitely worth the risk. Yeah, for us it was kind of if not now then when and yeah. so we just went for it. So on this side of the van is where we've got our cooktop and our stove and oven. It's hooked up to a propane tank which is below the van and it lasts about four or five months cooking full time in the van. So we've been really lucky with that. We can make pizza whenever we want. And then we've actually got our spice rack in the middle. This has all of the good things you'd want on the road. It's crucial to have you know olive oil, champagne, our poop shovel, all of the essentials in here. And then our last feature of the kitchen is our fridge. We love the fridge because it's got the top freezer. We can fit a lot of ice cream. I like to eat ice cream on the road. And then our fridge as well, really big. We can store a lot of cold goods down there. And then one of the other features that we had to add to the van was the laundry drawer. So we put it down here and it stores all of our dirty laundry. And it's great because we don't have to smell it or look at it or think about it. And it's just right below the bed. This is our wonderful shower. It was one of the things we kind of prioritized in the van. It clearly takes up a lot of space. It's heavy, but it's a luxury on the road. The shower head actually has a pause on off button so we can conserve water, which is crucial when you're living on the road. A couple of the other features in the shower that we enjoy, we've got this loofah and a little mirror if we need to shave or do anything like that. And then we've also got this hook for towels. So when we come out, we can hang it up or anything that's wet while we're on the road as well. We keep our toothbrushes in the toothbrush holder up here, which is really easy. We like that, super convenient. And then our Nautilus sliding shower door, which tucks away, cleans itself, makes it really easy for us. And it's glass tile, silicon grout. And so far we've had no issues. We've got hot water, a four gallon electric tank in the back. And so we have our toilet in here. It's just a normal portable toilet. It's not composting. Uh, we generally only use it for number one, but it's still great to have whenever we're camping and we don't have to you know, go into the boonies all the time. So when you're living on the road, ventilation is critical. We put our max air fan right in the middle of the cab. So when we've got it on at night, we can pull a breeze across the chassis, which is Great if it's hot or warm, we wanna get the cross breeze. And so we can set the max air fan to a temperature and let it run all night to keep us cool. Welcome to our bedroom. So we decided to buy a queen size firm memory foam mattress from Ikea. We cut it up into four pieces and that's what makes our bed turn into a dinette. And we did have to cut it a little bit short in order to fit, but the Ram Pro Masters are known to be one of the widest. So we got it as wide as we possibly could. And we have two windows in the back, which we love to use to get nice airflow, to sleep at night. And up here is actually our closets. So on this side is Sunny's closet. And as you can see, we added a shelf over here. His closet's actually a little bit higher than my closet. My closet's a little bit bigger. And so I sit on this side, and so my head will not hit over here. And Sunny sits on this side, and his head won't hit over here. And with the extra shelf, he has just as much 
clothing storage as I do. We like to keep everything in these packing cubes. Just makes it really easy to fit as much clothing as possible. As you can see, we added a reading light on each side of the bed, just so that if one of us wants to go to bed, someone else can stay up and have a little light next to them. And down below the reading lights on each side, you'll notice that we have USB outlet plugs, just so that it's really easy, so we have a place to charge our phone overnight. And we also have our hanging macrame here. We put all of our eye masks, earplugs, just stuff that we need to use when we're ready to go to bed. And of course, we have our blanket from Salty Aura. We absolutely love, we can use as a rug when we head out, or as a blanket if it's nice and cold. And we also have an LED strip up here in the back, again, just to set a vibe or go stealth. We also have our hanging moons, you know, Sunny and Luna, gotta have the moons. And we added some curtains in the back that also work as a bug screen. We're gonna break down our bed into table mode. It was really important to us to have this conversion option. We don't break it down during the week typically because we have the workspaces in the front of the cab, but every weekend without fail, we like to break down our bed into table mode. For me, living tiny and living in a van has really forced me to reprioritize what I want from life. And that's been a huge blessing because we're at a point in our life where we're growing up, we're starting a family, and we really could have fallen into the trap of kind of keeping up with the Joneses and you know, what is everyone else doing and what's what, what's, what are my friends doing? And I think for us, it's forced us to say, well, what do we want? What are our priorities? How do we want our life to shape? Um, what environment do we want our kids to be in? And, meeting like-minded individuals who, who live on the road and have families. It's been kind of magical in a sense because it's unlocked this whole other way of raising a family and being with your kids. And I think that's very healthy um, for people to really think about what you want rather than what other people are doing. And a lot of times people wake up at the end of their life and they realize what they've done is because other people have done it and not what they wanted. So I love the fact that we're really kind of forced to do what we want and we're forced to consider what life do we want to build um, from the ground up. So this is our dinette. It was really important to us to have this feature. We love to host, have friends over, as well as play cards, make dinner, and just lounge back here together. This is our beautiful table. It's made out of pine. My mom and I made it together. This table is what holds our bed up. And we love the U-shaped couch because we can seat five back here comfortably. Two on the side, two on the side, and one actually here in the back. One thing we love about our table is we added a lagoon swivel mount to it so it's really easy to get in and out as well. Back here is where we keep all of our electric and water system. So under this bench, we keep our fresh water tank. It's 33 gallons and then we have our four gallon hot water tank in the back as well. And then from there, we keep electric on the other side and we actually had extra room above the electric system, so we keep a lot of winter coats and it's a good extra storage spot. And we actually have three 100 amp lithium ion batteries and then a 3000 watt inverter. And so that gets us through probably without moving two to three days. And if we're boondocking, we can easily stay probably a week in a place like this with sun. Back here in our back benches, we keep mostly storage. So in the middle, we like to keep a lot of things like a disco ball when we're not using it. We have our hammock, first aid kit. Um, our chairs go back here as well. And then right here is our water inlet. So if we ever have to get city water, we hook it up there. And we also keep pretty much our entire water system is here. So we keep our hot water heater here. It's got our collapsible bucket and then also our water filter for filling up. And then on this side is where we keep mostly power tools and a lot of things we need while living on the road, like a drill, drill bits, anything for emergency repairs, which happens quite often. Over here, you'll see that we have a shore power outlet. We actually have never used it, but it's really nice to have just in case we go um, you know, to the Pacific Northwest or someplace where it's really cloudy and we just want to have that extra security. And we have this collapsible ladder. It just slides right in underneath where our bed area is when we're not using it. And it leads up to a really awesome roof deck. Having a roof deck was a must for us. We like having the additional storage if we want to strap some things down. Also, it's our favorite place to go when we want to stargaze. And next to the roof deck is where we keep our four 100 watt solar panels. 
which is great. It's sunny out and we're recharging our house batteries right now. And then underneath the van is where we keep our propane tank and that's what powers our oven and our stove and that lasts months at a time. So we're super happy with that. So if you're thinking about living tiny or living in a van and doing van life, we always say try before you buy. Go to a platform like Outdoorsy or rent a friend's for, we like to say two weeks and see how you feel. You're either saying, okay, I don't wanna leave or you're saying, get me back into my apartment or house. So that's a pretty quick way to, to test it out. We always advise people to do that. Another really important thing is to set realistic expectations. Why do you want it? Um, is it just glorified in your mind because there's a lot of challenges. Life isn't as easy on the road. It's not always Instagram worthy photos all the time. I mean, you will be sleeping at truck stops. You'll yeah. be going to the bathroom outside. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. So just really think about why you want this and make sure that what the lifestyle has to offer aligns with that. Because if you're really in it just for traveling and you know being in beautiful places, it's definitely got a lot of other challenges to consider. And if you'll be living tiny with a partner, there is an adjustment period. So just expect that. And for us, the most helpful thing we did to better cohabitate in such a tiny space is to set expectations and kind of delegate roles. Of course, we help each other out with everything, but everything is so much more smooth when you have certain roles and expectations you know that you're in charge of and your partner's in charge of. We like to say that there's kind of a honeymoon phase where the first three or four weeks on the road are incredible and then pretty quickly you're up in each other's business and just kind of like rah, 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 rah. so I would say exactly that just set it roles and expectations so that's it thank you guys so much for coming and touring our tiny little home it means so much to have your support and if you want to continue following along our journey you can visit us at basically all the social platforms at sunny luna living yeah and be sure to check out our website sunnylunaliving.com we have a bunch of helpful resources and guides and be sure to check out the blog as well for a lot of tips for the road thank you guys so much till next time bye, bye.